putting together this capital budget has taken a lot of work. The direction of City Council, the feedback of residents, and the dedication of City of Edmonton employees. It's the game plan for how we'll allocate more than $4 billion in infrastructure resources over the next four years. It was thoughtfully prepared to help guide the City in development and design of our capital projects. This budget not only outlines what things cost now, but what estimates they will cost in the future. This helps us and City Council make more informed planning decisions and ultimately achieve better value for tax dollars. Of the $4.3 billion of investment in the 2019-22 proposed plan, $2 billion is earmarked for the renewal of our existing infrastructure. $1.8 billion is for transformational and other projects previously approved by Council. $0.3 billion is for new projects tied to constrained funding sources that can only be used for specific purposes. And $0.2 billion is for new projects being funded from unconstrained sources. Administration has proposed a budget that helps Council make decisions on how to prioritize and allocate available funding. This is the challenge the City Building elected officials face, asking what do we want to do, what can we afford to do, and what needs to be done now, and what can be done later. It really comes down to the limitations of available, as Mr. Burge said, unconstrained available funding to advance projects. And so there's a consideration there around projects that are eligible for debt, considered eligible for debt, and opportunities for Council to have that discussion about funding those. It, there's a lot of projects that we, I would suggest we identified that align with um, the prioritization criteria, but it's a reflection of, uh, when, again, what Mr. Burge alluded to, which is a different um, climate as it relates to unconstrained funding that's available. Well, the ranking and scoring is something that we use as a tool to help us um, identify where projects uh, sort of as an initial uh, um, um, indication of where projects land. Uh, ultimately, like I said, it comes down to what you can afford and what the priorities are. Um, that coupled with Council's um, commitment to renewal, there becomes a balance in terms of what you can advance and what you can't advance.